you start Frontier and you're in a spaceship and everything is just so beautiful. Purple and pink sunset and, and there's this like giant planet hanging in the near orbit with rings on it and there's clouds and there's like a wireframe dome city in front of you and it's like all flat shades because it's still 1993 but it just has this effect of just like oh I'm in a place that makes sense. It's a really complex set of keyboard and mouse controls and you're in and out of menus. Frontier is from that era of games when everything was impossible and the more ambitious a game was, the harder it was to get into. Lots of games gave you the kind of Luke Skywalker fantasy, but very few gave you the Han Solo, which was like, I'm barely making it. Like, I'm gonna roll into a new spaceport, I'm gonna see what sort of dirt I can get up to, and then I'm gonna be on my way. And this was a game that did that. I definitely, when I was first playing this game, was the kid who like landed on the launch pad and then imagined what that city would be like. like. What's the city that sells drugs like versus the city that sells medical supplies versus the city that sells all of the different weapons. It's one of those games where you fill in the gaps with your own imagination, but it leaves you the right gaps to be filled in. Despite the fact that all the content is made by computers, by randomly generated machines, it has a sense of place. It's feeling that the world is vast and filled with things to do. It lets me add my imagination and it kind of leaves open some space for me to role play. It feels like when I touch down on a new planet for the first time, like it's somewhere. <laughs>